Hello there. Welcome back to our training. And so far in this training, we've talked about how you can create folders to help you better manage and organize the data within the PhoneBurner CRM. We've also talked about how you can customize the dispositions or buttons that you're going to be using while making calls using PhoneBurner to automatically move contacts into those folders to help you stay organized within PhoneBurner. And now I want to talk to you about how you can record your outgoing voicemail. You see, with PhoneBurner, you have the ability to pre-record an outgoing voicemail so that when you're making calls, if the call goes to voicemail, you don't have to sit on the line, wait for the beep, and wear your voice out, leaving the same voicemail over and over. You can pre-record a voicemail and instantly drop that voicemail and move on to the next call. So let me show you how you can record voicemails in PhoneBurner. So I'm going to scroll up here. You can see we're already in the dial session settings section within PhoneBurner. However, if you're logging in new to PhoneBurner, remember you can get to the dial session settings by clicking on the menu in the upper right hand portion of the page and choosing dial session settings. Once there, you're going to see the voicemail library option on the left hand side. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And here in the voicemail library, you'll see the options to record your voicemails. There are three options. Browser, which is the ability to use a headset plugged into your computer. Upload. This allows you to upload an MP3 file into the system for your voicemail. And then the phone option, which allows you to use your telephone. You just pick up your phone, dial one of these numbers, and then enter your PIN. Now, don't take a note of this PIN here. This is my PIN for my account. When you go to record your voicemail, if you use the phone option, use your PIN. Now, in this particular training, I'm going to use the browser option. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give my recording a name. Once I've given it a name, I'm going to go ahead and record my voicemail. I'm going to click this little red button right here. I'm going to grant access. I'm going to allow phone burner to have access to my microphone. Now that we're recording, I'm going to say what I'd normally say if I were to be leaving a voicemail on somebody's voicemail system minus using somebody's actual name. At any point, I can pause the recording, take a breath, recompose myself, and then I can resume recording. And when I'm done, when I've completed the recording, I can hit this little stop button. That'll stop recording so I can now preview what I've recorded. If I'm not happy with what I've recorded, I can go ahead and click the little trash icon right here, confirm, and I can start it all over again. So here we are recording another voicemail. I'm now going to go ahead and stop it. I'm happy with it, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. And that's it. That's how easy it is to record a new voicemail within your voicemail library. Moving forward, if I want to add additional voicemails to my voicemail library, I just click on the Add Voicemail button right here. And you'll see, once again, I have the three options to get a voicemail into my account, either using the browser, uploading, or using my telephone. So that's it for this training. Thanks for taking the time to watch it. And make sure you continue going through the rest of the training within this module. Thanks again, and happy dialing.